Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, December 14th and this is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable at scroundtable.com over the past week. First up, uh, there was some limited chatter over the past week um, around the Google search algorithm update. The update may have happened starting earlier this week and throughout the whole entire week. There's definitely a number of people who are talking about this um, and um, definitely take a look at the chatter that we posted over here as well as the forum threads and the tools. Some of them are showing some fluctuations, some of them not. So definitely take a look at that and see uh, if you find anything interesting there. Uh, Google said, you don't really don't need to do anything if, about links. I mean, they said, we don't need to notify you of bad links just because we ignore them. If Google is aware of the bad links, there's no need to notify you then because Google's ignoring those bad links. There's obviously some cases where John Mueller <coughs> expanded later on that basically you could use it if you're nervous that those bad links are going to hurt us. Use a manual actions. I mean, disavow file. <coughs> but you really shouldn't obsess about it because Google, for the most part, will ignore those bad links. Um, obviously, if you get a manual action and you can't remove those links, then you can use a disavow file and stuff like that. But in terms of algorithmically, again, since Penguin 4.0, uh, years and years ago, or a couple years ago, um, that is no longer the case where you have to actually worry about links hurting you. Uh, they're just going to be ignored. <coughs> Sorry. Google Search Console um, AMP errors are getting more general, less specific. And Google basically announced in the Data Anomalies page that the AMP enhancements report will now combine some over specific issues types into fewer generalized issue types. Um, this is going to happen over a period of time, um, so you might go ahead and see more, less errors because they're being lumped in into one specific, one generic, generic error as opposed to multiple errors. Um, <coughs> this, according to Google, this will make things more manageable um, and so forth in some specific cases. So if you are looking at the AMP report, definitely take a look at that uh, for more information. Google, <coughs> sorry, some Google News publishers are still complaining about ranking and indexing issues in Google News. Google supposedly fixed this numerous times since early October, uh, but still there are new, new Google, Google News publishers who are still saying they're having problems ranking and indexing in Google, um, even though their website is perfectly fine and so forth. It's unclear. I haven't seen this issue from my site recently, uh, so it's not clear what's exactly going on, but something is going on. Uh, Bing, the head of Bing uh, search t spam team, I think he's the head, um, Frederick, uh, basically said that um, machine learning is useful in helping make the search results more human curated uh, because machine learning um, basically is better at what's called generalizing a ranking algorithm. And because of that, um, if you use, it basically said it turns out if you use modern machine learning, it's very good at generalizing. So you expect your core ranking algorithm to get closer to the ideal intelligent search product view that we hold internally and which we try to capture in our internal guidelines, making it more human driven and so forth. Um, so it's very interesting to hear him say that. Um, I'm not sure how much Google's using machine learning um, in their core algorithm, but who knows? Bing says they, they're trying to go that route. Google says, you know, even though your site is being scraped a lot by other content, by other websites, doesn't mean you're, that's a quality signal. Just because people like to scrape your site, it doesn't matter. That Google scrapers don't actually go ahead and say, oh, this site, I'm going to build an algorithm that I scrape only quality sites. They scrape all kinds of sites, and Google said that's not a ranking algorithm factor or a signal saying my site's good because my site gets scraped a lot. That's definitely not something that Google uses for the, for their ranking algorithm. Uh, Google said also um, if you move uh, that they're moving. Uh, they have moved some of the old Google Search Console reports to the new, uh, specifically the Search Analytics report, uh, the AMP report, the Index Statics report, the Links report, Manual Actions report, the Mobile Usability report, and the Rich Cards report are all moved. So you can no longer access them in the old report, in the old interface. So if you go to Search Analytics in the old interface, it says, go see the performance report. And Google gave us a heads up that this was happening, and it did happen on the specific date that they actually said it would happen on. Uh, Google also, with that, fixed the discrepancy between the old Google Search Console search analytics report and the new Google Search Console performance report. It was a day off. So it used to show, like, this was actually December 8th, Saturday's data, but now they fixed it to actually show the, set, the right date. Um, it used to be that this was actually a day off. Google fixed this when they went ahead and removed the old report, and I confirmed it myself by looking at the data. Uh, Google rolled out... <coughs> Sorry, Google. <coughs> sorry, Google's rolling out related um, Im uh, images thumbnails and related searches. So we covered this before; they were testing it. Now it seems to be rolled out on mobile. If you do a search for elevators, for example, you'll get image thumbnails in each one. 
Of course, we also covered that in the past, that if you click on one, instead of it showing you a search result, it would actually show you a feature snippet, which you can then click on to either go directly to that website that's featured, or you can click on show more results for that feature snippet, and it'll take you to the Google search results for that page. It's a different way of Google handling it, um, and I covered that um, yesterday. Uh, Google, your is, um, Google has, at some point in the past couple weeks, I believe, changed the behavior of the desktop search results so that when you mouse over either the title or the URL, both are actually clickable in the same element. Um, some small little tweak there, nothing major, but just a heads up. Local SEOs are saying that the Google Posts, um, Google Posts, basically a Google My Business thing where you could actually add Google Posts, um, since they moved it in October down below the knowledge panel, on the bottom part of the knowledge panel, the traffic that Google Posts has been sending websites has drastically declined. Here's, a, here's some uh, analytics from different people, but you can see all the local SEOs in the local search forum are complaining about that. Uh, talking about local SEO, Google has renamed in Google My Business the, com the uh, communication manager to a site manager and changed some permissions. This is basically a grid of different types of permissions that you have in the Google My Business Center, so definitely take a look at that if you are big into the permissions there. Uh, Google for you, tab in the Google Maps app has expanded. It's also now available on iOS, and on Android it's available about over 130 new countries. Uh, so the For You tab basically gives you recommendations about what to do locally in a specific region and so forth. So definitely take a look at that. Um, Google Lens um, is finally available on iOS devices, so it's Google Lens is basically a product. You could go ahead and take your camera, look at stuff, and it will go ahead and, uh, sorry, it will go ahead and, um, not sure why that's not loading. It will go ahead and uh, my internet dropped on my device. Looks like our Wi-Fi died. Uh, Google will go ahead and, sorry about that, I'll keep going until the Wi-Fi connects. Uh, but Google went ahead and um, basically said that, um, said that um, Lens is basically a device that you could go ahead and, uh, let me just quick click on it one more time. It's not loading. But Lens is basically a product you can take your camera and actually go ahead and take a look at stuff and it will actually, you can actually zone into those specific products and then go ahead and Google will say, oh, this Coca-Cola can is a Coca-Cola can or you're looking at a monkey or whatever it might be. It will go ahead and um, help you uh, figure out what you're looking at. Uh, Google is expediting the closure of Google Plus after another security bug. So they're moving up the closure of Google Plus for consumers four months early. And Google posted their year-end review, the uh, year-end search, um, uh, on their blog. I'll definitely take a look at that. It's pretty cool to see the year in search by Google. Sorry about the internet bug. Not sure what's going on. Any event, thanks so much for listening to the Search Buzz video recap. My name again is Barry Schwartz. This is the search news we cover over at the Search Engine Roundtable at SEMRoundtable.com over the past week. Again, today is Friday, December 14th. Everyone have a great weekend and I'll see you guys next. <music>